Hello everyone, my name is Adora Svitak, and I'm an 11-year-old published author. As some of you may know, my first book was Flying Fingers, and this here is the book that I published at the age of 7 years old. And I would like to tell you a little bit more about Flying Fingers, Master the Tools, through the, Master the Tools of Learning Through the Joy of Writing. This book contains nine of my stories as well as tips for kids and adults on writing and how to teach it and how to instill a love of writing in kids as well. Also, some of my early poems, dialogue between me and my mom, my opinions on important issues like politics and important figures in history, all this in this thick book. It's almost 300 pages. So to show you a little bit about Flying Fingers, I'm going to read one of my stories to you. So, here it is, and it is called The Rebel's Reward. I'll read the beginning. Catherine Carlsman looked up from where she had been digging in the damp dirt with her grubby fingers. The mistress of the gardens, Lady Anna, looked at her disapprovingly. Brush up, Lady Anna said, frowning. You look like a street urchin. But, Lady, Catherine's pleading made no difference. Brush up, Lady Anna repeated, this time her lips in a tight line. Elsie will help you. And change your dress. Anna stared at Catherine's smock. It was one of Catherine's favorites because it allowed her to move and breathe freely. Of course, Anna was asking her to change. And don't put on those square boots, Anna reminded Catherine just as she was about to leave. They are so manly. I do not know what your father was thinking when he brought those from Kenswell. But they are so comfortable, Catherine exclaimed. You must make a good impression upon the public. Anna said curtly. Now leave and do wash your hands. Catherine ran into her class five minutes late. Dame Giovanna, the teacher of the class, glanced disdainfully at Catherine's soiled gloves, her hurriedly plaited sandy braid, braids, and her wrinkled burgundy gown. The rest of the girls sniggered in their horrible high-pitched tones. Sit, Giovanna ordered Catherine pointing at an empty chair next to the most despicable bully in the academy, Rihanna Broadsmat. Okay, I'm ending there. And I will be continuing this tomorrow, so keep a close watch on that. And I might be reading some more experts, excerpts from stories here in Flying Fingers, so keep a close watch on that. If you'd like to learn more about me, Flying Fingers, or any of my upcoming books, you can feel free to visit my website, www.adorasvitak.com, A-D-O-R-A-S-V-I-T-A-K.com. Thank you, everyone, and have a great day.